Hi, my name is Brian. In this video, we're going to find the derivative of this function f of x equals 3x minus 2x squared using the limit definition of the derivative. So I have the graph of 3x minus 2x squared down here. Just to, to kind of give us an idea of what's happening. When I find the derivative, it's going to be a function who, when I plug in any specific x value, say like I plug in 0.5 in 4a, it's going to spit out the slope at this point right here. And that slope is going to be different than, say, at the point 1.5, which is also different than the slope here. So when I actually finish this, it's the derivative is going to be a function who, when I plug in a value for a, will give me a, any point or any slope on this graph. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I have two different versions for the definition, limit definition of a derivative. I have this one right here and then the second one down here. I'm actually going to be using this one. I find it to be easier to use this one when dealing with uh, quadratic polynomials and things like that. So let's go ahead and get started with this definition. Now I've written the definition of the derivative right here. Uh, so what I, my first step is to be able to plug in what f of a plus h is. Now this is a composition of functions, so you gotta be careful. What we're doing is we're plugging in a plus h for x, as well as this one right here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, we're gonna have the limit as h goes to zero. Don't forget the limit. You're gonna have now f of a plus h, that's gonna be three times, but now instead of x, it's supposed to be a plus h. And then you have minus, two times, now instead of x squared, it's gonna be a plus h squared. All right, and then you got minus and then f of a. f of a is just gonna be 3a minus 2a squared. And all of this is gonna be over h. So let's go ahead and start distributing things. We have, well, don't forget our limit. We're gonna distribute the three. So that's gonna give me three a plus three h. I can't distribute this two yet because I have to foil a plus h. So I gotta do a plus h squared. So let me do that right now. So a plus h squared, that's gonna be a squared plus two a h plus h squared. So I'll distribute the two in a moment. And then I'm gonna distribute the minus sign on the 3a, so that's gonna be minus 3a plus 2a squared, again, all over h. So that's gonna be the limit as h goes to zero. Okay, so let's distribute this two now. We're gonna get 3a plus 3h minus 2a squared minus 4a h minus 2h squared minus 3a plus 2a squared all over h. Now hopefully things cancel, which they do. We have a 3a and a minus 3a, so those cancel. We have a minus 2a squared and a positive 2a squared. So what's left after canceling is a 3h minus 4a h minus 2h squared all over h. Now you know you're on the right track when everything on the numerator still has an h because we have this h right here and we need to cancel that h. So I can factor out an h on the top and that's gonna leave me three minus four a minus two h all over h. And now you can see how the h's will cancel. And that's gonna leave me the limit as h goes to zero of three minus four a. Oh, minus two h. <clears throat> and now when you plug in h equals zero, and you're gonna plug it right in here, which basically cancels that, and you're left with three minus four a. So that means my derivative, my f prime of a, is three minus four a. So if I wanted to know the slope at say 0.5, which is right there, 
all I'm going to do is plug 0.5 in 4a. So if we do that, just to give you an example, f prime of 0.5 is 3 minus 4 times 0.5. That's 3 minus 2, which is 1. So that means the slope at this point right here is 1. Now I posted two problems that I want you to try up on the screen. They're two quadratic uh, functions. Now I want you to find f prime of a. Now the solutions to these suggested problems and more information about the school I work at NIU, please visit the link down below.